Finally, we can start talking about spring summer fashion and I don't know about you, but I'm actually quite excited Towards the end of winter. It just usually feels like everything is dragging and dragging as much as I like winter fashion or autumn winter fashion even more than so, uh, spring summer I still kind of get excited about the beginning of a new season um, and I think about my wardrobe and things to change and all of that exciting stuff so yeah in saying that I'm going away at the end of this month so I've kind of brought forward my spring summer shopping so I've kind of started thinking about the style or the direction that I want to go for the spring summer I say I, I'm a formula girl when it comes to spring summer white tea blue jeans and you know throw in the additional this and that but that's predominantly like my style um i would jazz things up with like accessories like jewelry handbags shoes you know those kind of things but i think the core will remain and if i get excited about anything else you know i'll throw that in like if i see any trends that i want to tap into early i'll get into it like animal prints um by the way this is new in as well let's talk about my outfit before we get into this video so i'm wearing a headband because girl can't be bothered to my edges today <laughs> um the jewelry all of my jewelry they are from my jewelry brand which is called monica b and the shirt is new in from h&m it's actually quite like an oversized shirt and i'm just obsessed with snake brands like i yeah sorry I don't want to get too excited but it's such a beautiful shirt it feels very comfortable on I'm thinking this with a pair of shorts or with my jeans you know like the shirts and jeans formula like I said I'm a formula girl when it comes to uh, spring summer fashion actually when it comes to fashion in general I'm a top bottom usually jeans tailored trousers you know the script remains the same but the pieces might be different i always put it that way so before i get in this into this video guys if you are new on my channel my name is banke on this channel i talk mostly about fashion bits and bobs of beauty a touch of lifestyle and anything else in between because we are multifaceted over here and if you're returning hey 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 welcome back <laughs> So like I said, I'm going away at the end of this month, so that's prompted me to start shopping early for spring summer. Um, but unfortunately, some of the bits that I bought are not here yet. I would have loved, loved, loved to try them on. So in this video, I'm literally going to walk through or to talk through some of the bits that I've bought and I'm going to do a try on as well because I want to be so intentional on this trip. Um, I'm going away for six days. I don't want to have any extra stuff that I'm not going to wear. The plan is already there. It's six days uh i know what the temperature is going to be so it's going to range between 10 degrees and 20 degrees so i know that's a big gap but yeah that's why i need to just plan properly put the outfits together by day um and yeah so that's what we are going to do i'm gonna start off with a dressy piece so i'm for the strip i'm gonna take one just one dress up kind of outfit during a trip we're not planning more than one kind of like nice fancy night out so there's no need to take like lots of things like that with me so for that purpose i bought this lace skirt this skirt actually would tie in so nicely with like my style or what i kind of want to bring in for spring summer that is outside of my box like i said i like to throw in a little bit of sprinkle sprinkle here and there so this is the sprinkle sprinkle that i'm bringing in generally i love lace i like tool i like like interesting fabrics um and i think this this skirt would bring in like the idea that i have in my head which i'm going to show you it's just the juxtapositioning of pieces so a list skirt which is quite feminine with a blazer or with an oversized jumper i mean but not for the trip like you know generally like with an oversized jumper or or even a shirt like this with a, an oversized white shirt in the summer that kind of vibe yeah even this with like a pair of trainers um and just like a casual black t-shirt i'll probably do like more styling videos around pieces like this just if you're interested but for this trip i'm thinking night out blazer over it belt the blazer for a little bit of more um feminine kind of vibe and a pair of red shoes just to bring in the color talking about shoes 
I'm planning on taking only one pair of dressy shoes with me. Now, I, I haven't fully decided. Like you can see, we're doing this try on together. So it's a toss between my red Manolo Blanik because I think this outfit with the red Manolo, there's something there. Like I like this whole look. All these black Tom Ford slingbacks. They're actually quite comfortable. I like the gold in front, you know, like the gold just peeping out of the lace. I think that's so chic, um, especially if I'm like wearing like gold accessories and all that. I just really, really like the shoes. I haven't worn them much, so I want to get more wear out of them. Um, so that's why they are also an option. And thirdly, my JW Anderson sandals. Again, I don't wear them as often as I would like to. It's got this pearl details on the ankle strap here and the other leg has the pearl detail around the front. I don't know if you guys can see it. So they are super, super gorgeous. The reason why I can't decide on the shoe is because of the dressy bag that I'm planning on taking with me. So I'm only going to take one bag that I'm going to use pretty much throughout the whole trip. I don't want to carry too much. Talking about bag, for the trip I'm planning on taking my, uh, my Jackie bag. But this color means that... I have to be very very um intentional with the shoe because the red shoe I, I don't know it's not really giving what it should give but again a black option actually makes it better the reason why i'm taking this bag is because it's so flat like it's flat and i can wear it like this on my side like that um and i can also use the long strap and have it as a crossbody i will decide on the shoe like closer to the time that i'm going away but like i said i'm going to be so so intentional if this is the bag that i'm taking with me then it's going to be one of the one of the black options of shoe um but if i d then decide to change the handbag which i i don't know I could take a brown bag as well. Hold on. I could also take my brown Louis Vuitton bag. This is a very versatile color, obviously, even if I wear like red shoes. But the thing is, it's it's actually quite big. It doesn't feel like that dressy, especially for the night out that I'm planning on actually wearing the dressy shoe. So that's why I'm thinking this. I don't want to have to take anything else. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. For the other option of shoes I'm taking, it's going to be trainers. I always said I'm not a trainer girl, but... I think the out well, well the outfits that I'm planning is just so appropriate and again because it's such a casual trip there's no need to take like a lot of dresses and stuff so I think it's this is like a nice way to actually utilize my trainers because I don't wear them as much I will be traveling in my Chanel trainers my travel outfit is gonna be very casual tracksuit bottoms or jersey bottoms and a jersey or sweatshirt I travel in these because they're so so comfortable to be honest I would have done the entire trip in this if not because I still want to be you know bringing a little bit of aesthetic like a different aesthetic to my troop otherwise this would have been the trainers all the way through so the second trainers that I'm bringing are my white Nike trainers I, I really want to lean into my casual girl rather than my usual city girl vibes gonna be quite a bit of walking about so I'm thinking this with like Nike socks that I'm gonna show you. So I bought a pack of Nike logo socks as well. So this, leggings um, and a sweatshirt or cycling shorts or whatever it is. So yeah, I'm proper, proper leaning, like I said, into like my sporty chic vibe. I know I started off with that skirt, but before I get into the rest of like my clothes that I'm planning on taking, especially because I don't have everything with me today, I'm gonna go into accessories now. So in general, I like this whole indoor outdoor vibe when it comes to sunglasses. Um, and I have a few options. Now, as I'm trying on my outfits, I'll throw on some sunglasses. I really, really like these. I haven't worn these in such a long time, but I think they are so, so cool. They're giving absolute cool girls. So think about this, white boxy white t-shirts, pair of jeans, white trainers, and just a pop of pink on the glasses given. I also have something not too far from that is actually quite pink. Oh, these are so cool. I think I'm gonna stick to just wearing this headband all the way through throughout this trip. Um, but I like this. But also, I'm thinking on a proper hot day with the sun shining, we definitely need something that will protect the eyes. So I was thinking of taking my Celine sunglasses. Ooh. This is giving. Even with the outfits I've got on, I love this. This definitely I'm taking with me. Um, I like what I've given. 
I literally can't see through it so as I'm like peeping off the top of the glasses but yeah I like this. I know people are not so much into aviators at the moment but for me aviators are classic. I got this Chanel aviator like years ago before it became so expensive and I've had them since and I tell you the quality of this is so cool but look at that vibe of probably take some silver jewelry with me think about this nice silver earring white t-shirt what um denim shorts trainers socks ah girl it's given sorry but i'm a bit too excited about the sunglasses now i'm thinking maybe just take this and my celine so the celine for days that i'm wearing gold and this for days that i'm wearing silver i just got my dog excited as well she's like what's going on I really got excited about the sunnies and the whole idea of the outfits. I don't have the t-shirt, so I like t-shirts and I have some t-shirts already in my wardrobe. But the style of t-shirts that I'm going for this year is more like a boxy fit, you know, just kind of square, effortless tee. I had a few more t-shirts. I think I got some from Coz. I saw this from H&M that I really, really like. I will have to do another video just to show you those. Or maybe when I'm already on, away on my holiday, I might just do some videos. I will try. Um, and you guys can see. So the the trip is mostly going to be me wearing t-shirts and, and shorts to be honest. Going back to sort of like the indoor outdoor vibe. Um, I was thinking this Gucci ones. I like this a lot. I like this a lot. Yes. Yes. I think I'm going to pull them down a bit so that they're not too square with my brows. This is given. Hold on. Let me try on a pair of hoops. Oh, I like this. Feels extra. I would probably wouldn't wear the necklaces or any necklace with. Feels extra, but it's still quite effortless. It's just got pair rings, statement sunglasses, white t-shirt. I like this. I think I'm going to narrow down the sunglasses. I think we're going to do this ones. We're going to do the Celine and we're going to do the Chanel. So one for a silver day, one for a gold day and one for like indoor outdoor silver or gold i think this would still work okay still talking about accessories um we're going with some caps this has been kind of like my vibe for a while like i'm just into this stuff i don't plan on spending much time doing my hair or anything like that so that's where the headband comes in and that's where this caps come in i think these are so cool for days that you want to be just so up and go you know Right, do you guys see this vision? Also, I was thinking of taking a black one because we need a black, a black, an all black day kind of vibe. I'm taking this from the chemist. Oh man, I feel like an absolute babe. Hold on, uh, let's chuck the it's given, it's given undercover, it's given. Oh, this is so chic. I love this with my hair, guys. Are you seeing this? Are you guessing the vision? Also, I got a new one. This one is from New Era and it says, LA, LA. <laughs> Let me try this on with my Gucci frames, see if that works because it's got the sort of creamish white uh, handle. It's, yeah, okay. Oh, okay. I think this is better. I think, I think it brightens it up a bit and the contrast isn't too, too striking. Guys, do we like this? I actually like this. But I, see, this kind of stuff as well, I can still wear while I'm in London. So that's why I don't, I'm not mad at it. Definitely taking three caps with me. This one, the LA one. Spotty and Rich one, this one. And the Chemist one for an all black day. And I think that's all the vibe that I need. I'm going from San Francisco to LA. And we're going to do a road trip. I'm thinking gonna get nippy at some point and a sweatshirt like this would always make sense because I don't want to take I don't want to take anything too heavy the pair of leggings like I've got on now and the spotty and rich hat I think that's just giving cool laid back and it's very very chic and this kind of like wraps up the actual vibe that I'm going for while I'm on the strip what else is new pair of jeans but I don't know about you but find finding a pair of jeans that fits and looks nice sometimes is whew, hard work this year only I think I must have bought at least six pair of six pairs of jeans that I've had to send back because they're just not right I'm in the market for like an accrue sort of pair of jeans um 
and it's just hard to find anywhere and dark blue denim that just yeah I'm still struggling but this one's I'll tell you the story um so I saw two this pair of jeans that I liked so I bought it in two sizes and what they did was they sent me the biggest size in the ones that I ordered and the smaller size which I have ended I'm gonna keep in a different style completely. This is a nice accidental pair of jeans that I'm keeping. I kind of like how they look on me so I'm gonna pop these on as well as you guys can see. I like the length I think with pair of trainers or standard dressy shoes or whatever it is I like how I like the length and I like the way it fits on the body as well. So at the moment I only have three pairs of actively functioning jeans um, and you might think that's enough but for someone who actually enjoys wearing jeans that's not enough. So I have my, I, I probably would do like a whole jeans video for you guys as well so you can see the different styles. Not every pair of jeans is the same and is going to give you the same effects that you want so that's why I, it's yeah. Yeah, anyone who loves wearing jeans would know what I'm talking about. For this strip, these jeans would actually come in handy, like I said. I don't want to pack too much, but you need a pair of I always need a pair of jeans. Taking a pair of leggings, cycling shorts, um, the outfits that I'm wearing to travel, which is like joggers, um, denim shorts and jeans. So very, very light pieces that's not going to take up too much space. Denim shorts is probably just going to be for like the very hot days that I don't want to wear like cycling shorts or, you know, or jeans. Um, they will come in handy with my boxy t-shirts. Still the trainers. Still trainers. Something that's very important to me on this trip or whenever I go away is like iron free, easy peasy pieces. Um, like I said, the vibe is very casual. At first I was thinking maybe take like shirts and stuff, but I realized like taking a shirt with me would require ironing and it's not like that kind of like European summer vibe that you can go with like a crisp linen shirt or crisp linen pieces. I don't think this is going to be right for this trip so I'm going to abandon that ship and just stick to the original plan of sweatshirts and casual t-shirts. The rest of the bits that I have are not here like I mentioned so I might do a second part to this video if they arrive on time. Um, I think I bought like actual gym leggings so I want like a pair of leggings that would actually like sanction me in a little bit. Um, so I got those. I got cycling shorts as well but not like gym cycling shorts, just regular H&M cycling shorts. I also got a striped t-shirt because I'm in my head I'm thinking it's such a cool vibe for summer as well. I'm into stripes at the moment so that would fit nicely into like the vibe that I'm leaning into for this summer so striped t-shirts. And I think that with a pair of shorts with my trainers as well will look so, so cool. Um, and yeah, I think you guys have seen the majority of the stuff that I have planned. So like the sunglasses, the accessories, how I'm planning on fitting things together. Out of all the items that I've shown you today, I think the jeans are probably my favourites because it's something that, oh, it's so hard to get a nice pair of jeans. I'm going to wrap up the video here. Um, if there's going to be a second part, I'm not sure yet, but I'll wrap this up here. If you're new to my channel, like I said, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel because I I like to share these things with you guys. And also, I'm hoping to be able to take you on that trip. Even if I don't do like a full vlog, I'm going to like do a bit some bobs. I probably would do like an outfit type travel thing with it. So, you know, just bring in like fashion into that travel, travel aspect. Um... So yeah, I think it's going to be an exciting trip. I, I'm so looking forward to it. Um, and yeah, I'll leave all the links to the new stuff in the description box below, like I've already mentioned. So have a nosy. Um, and also find me on my other social platforms on Instagram and TikTok for like more everyday kind of stuff. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.